Yes, fam. This is Drummer Boy 1980, fam. I'm back again. I told you I was coming back. I just went on the hiatus. I just had to do a little quick little something, something, trying to get my mind together. You know, I had to go sit on the dock of the bay, watch time pass away, and analyze a few things. But you understand, family, I hope you're having a good day. If not, you know the old adage. Ask yourself why. Look at your screen, guys. This tether here. Listen at this. Dear men, women don't dress for you. Women do makeup for you. Do their hair for you. Just like most of y'all, only sex for you. And not the women pleasure. This all for us. This ain't about you. Now go, thanks for coming. What do y'all think about that, guys? Put it in the comment section. What are y'all thoughts on that? She said women don't dress for you. Don't do their makeup for you. Don't do the hair for you. You only have sex to please yourself, basically, right? And all of that is for the women whenever they do the makeup and what have you. Okay, guys, to be honest with you, she's correct. Think about it. Hold on now. Pump your brakes. Think about this for just a minute, all right? How many times have you told women, we don't like they makeup caked up like a clown, like Bozo and Homie and all of them, Ronald McDonald? How many times have you told me, and they still yet do it anyway, right? You told them, I don't want no bird claws up on your fingers. I don't like those long nails. That's not my thing. I don't like that. That's ghetto to me. What do they do? Get long nails, get eager talents anyway. They don't care, right? How many times have you said, hey, you can be sexy without having your nipples and everything else out, showing your camera toe. You don't have to dress like that. I mean, you still can be sexy. You know what I mean? But first of all, you ain't got no business trying to go around being sexy no way. But, you know, some people just fine. I mean, they eights, they nines, they tens, right? So whatever that they put on is still going to draw attention to them regardless, right? But some people try to draw attention on purpose because attention is a drug. You know what I mean? That's currency in today's society, right? But uh, guys, she's telling the truth. She's telling the truth. But on the flip end though, ladies, you see what type of man that she attracted? Okay then, once you get into this mindset here, it's gonna have a negative effect on the back end. See, it seem all cool and dandy and fine in your early 20s, your mid 20s. Whenever you get about 28 or 29, some people still want to kick, want to kick the system, want to fight back. See, what happened is they eventually find out that it don't work like that. It don't work like that. You can fight it, but if you don't give the men what they ask you for, you going to get a certain type of man, and that's going to be to the bottom. I've been preaching this for a long time. You going to get what's left over what you complain about because you don't want to acquiesce to what the man want. Shout out to TBA, the black authority. He always preached it. The most important and consequential decision in a woman's life is the man she get involved with, hooked up to. Ooh, God, I know they're going to be mad. Get mad, I don't care. Who cares? It don't take no skin off my back or no dollars out my pocket because I had money before you too, so it ain't going to matter. I'm going to have it after you hurt me. The most important decision a woman will ever make is the man that she get involved with, get hooked up to, because it has a positive and negative connotation to it. You can get hooked up with a dude and that dude can change your life. He literally can change your life overnight, or either he can take you down the road of degradation overnight. Choose wisely, ladies. And remember this, whatever guy gets you pregnant, Listen at me. Oh, God. I'm about to drop some. Oh, God. I'm about to drop it. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, family. Go ahead and click it for me now. And come on back to see me. Let me jump back onto the saddle right quick. Oh, God. I'm going to ride this horse in. You heard me. Whatever man that gets you pregnant, whether it's a Pookie or Ray Ray, that is the best in most cases. In most cases, not all. But we are adults here now. I'm talking in general. I'm talking to the general masses. Don't be in my comment section. Tell me, well, I know a person. Shut up and get out my comment section. Usually, if you get pregnant by a Pookie and Ray Ray, more times than not, that is your ceiling. Oh, God. That's the best you're going to get. 
in most cases. Now, in some cases, it don't happen like that. But we ain't talking about 5%, 7%, 8%. I'm talking in general. If you get pregnant and have a kid or two or three kids by Pookie and Ray Ray, most of the time, ladies, that is your ceiling. Let's be honest now. Most guys do not want to take care of another man's children. Because every time that I look, I am reminded of your sexual activity. See, ladies, you ain't never heard it like this. That's why you need to talk to the men and see what the men want. Every time I look at your son or your daughter or John John and Keisha and Taquanisha and, and all that, every time that I look at them, I am constantly reminded that another man was banging out your back too, hitting it from the back. Yeah, that's what I'm reminded of. Huh? See, that's a constant reminder. Now, we all know that there ain't no virgins in the world. We understand that, but I don't need a constant reminder of it. Yes, I know that you had a past, but I don't need to be reminded of your past. That's what I'm saying. But ladies, don't take no advice from no Nicki Minaj. Look at what she got. A darn violator. Huh? You understand that? Quit listening at these Pharisees and all these darn imbeciles on the internet and these entertainers. She don't know nothing because if she knew something, she would do better. Or either she could be a fool and know better and won't do better. Either way, don't listen. All right? Mic drop. Family, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that share button for me. All right? Drop something up in the cash app. It's tax time. Go ahead and slide me something up on the table. I promise I won't tell nobody. Huh? <laughs> hit that subscribe button, family. All right? And like I always tell you, family, come back to see me, all right? And I do appreciate y'all guys. 